All right, so at the top, it just talks about adding or subtracting from x and what that would look like, whether it goes right or left, because x-axis goes left and right. The y is the opposite. The y-axis goes up and down, so adding or subtracting moves it up and down, okay? So let's looking at the next part. It states that it's always x comma y. So if we are doing two units to the right, that means the x is being moved. So if I do 2 plus 2, this new point is at 4 comma 3. This to the right, which means plus 2, y stays the same. So negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. y stays the same. 6 plus 2 is 8. Y stays the same. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Y stays the same. 0 plus 2 is 2. Y stays the same. Negative 7 plus 2. Y stays the same. Okay, that's all we're doing. So now on the next one, instead of moving left and right, our x is staying the same and our y is being added to 4. So 2 stays the same. 3 plus 4 is 7. Negative 3 stays the same. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 stays the same, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. Negative 4 stays the same, negative 4 plus 4 is 0. 0 stays the same, 9 plus 4 is 13. Negative 7 stays the same, 0 plus 4 is 4. Okay? Now the next one, we're touching both the x and the y. So if it's three units left, that means x minus three, and one unit down means y minus one. So two minus three, negative one. Three minus one, two. Negative three minus three, negative six. Two minus one, one. Six minus three, three. Negative four minus one, negative five. Negative 4 minus 3, negative 7. Negative 4 minus 1, negative 5. 0 minus 3, negative 3. 9 minus 1, 8. Negative 7 minus 3, negative 10. 0 minus 1, negative 1. Okay? And then I'm not going to worry about the last column, but that's all that you're doing. Okay? Then it says if it's reflected over the x axis, the x stays the same, the y flips to the opposite or a negative, okay? So let's do the x-axis first. x stays the same, y is the opposite. 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 X stays the same, and a negative zero is still negative zero, or positive zero. Okay? For the flip of that, reflected over the Y axis, the X is the opposite, the Y stays the same. So the opposite of two, negative two. The Y stays the same. The opposite of negative three, positive three. The y stays the same. The opposite of 6, negative 6. Y stays the same. The opposite of negative 4, positive 4. Y stays the same. The opposite of 0, 0. Y stays the same. The opposite of negative 7, positive 7. And the Y stays the same. All right, and then the last one. <clears throat> when you are rotating, when you are rotating, 
Okay. I'm going to turn this up a little bit more. All right. So we have 90 degrees. The Y flips to a negative or the opposite, and the X and Y flip. So let's do this first. Let's flip our three and our two, and this becomes the opposite. Let's flip our two and our three, and this becomes the opposite. Let's flip our negative four and our six, and this becomes the opposite. If it's easier for you, just make it plus. Let's flip our negative fours, and the first one becomes a positive. Let's flip our nine and our zero, and the first becomes the opposite. Let's flip our zero and our negative seven, and since it's zero, it stays the same. Okay, 180, X and Y stay the same, so let's write two comma three, and then they flip signs. So the second one, three, negative two. The next one, negative six, positive four. Positive four, positive four. Negative zero, negative nine. Positive seven, zero. Okay, 270. We're gonna flip our X and our Y again. And now the second number becomes the negative, or the opposite. Flip our X and our Y. And the second number becomes a po uh, the opposite. Flip our negative four and our six. The second number is the opposite. Negative four and negative four. The second number is the opposite. Nine and zero, second number is the opposite. Zero and negative seven, second number is the opposite. Okay? <clears throat> so keep that in mind. Also, let's put really fast. Up here because it's something that I've noticed we're struggling with still, some of us. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. So keep that in mind. 